Hey guys, we're back with Hoagie Quest, and uh, it's Battle Toads. The quest from our toads. <laughs> you know, th this game, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't outright hate it, but I know how bullshit hard it is. You say you've beaten it? Yeah. yeah. It's not a... It's not a bad game. It's it, it's it's a weird thing with me because it's not a it's not what you would consider a bad game in the typical standard of like it's just really hard. Yeah. Wasn't this game inspired by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon? Uh, that's actually a good question. I don't know if that came... I don't know which came first. Oh, I'm... I'm thinking that... You know what, this either... I think this either came out in 89 or 1990, around there. And the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have been out for a couple of years at least by then. I think. But... I'm asking basically because, you know, Battletoads design seems to, to hold the same kind of purposely disgusting designs that the, the Turtles had. Uh, I'll be right back. One sec. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, 1991. I missed that before. Yeah. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were already around by then, and I'm covering for Steve while he goes, uh, I don't know, maybe he went to take a potty break or something. <laughs> it's like, don't forget, hashtag Steve gotta go potty. <laughs> He's gonna kill me when he hears it. <laughs> oh, I get Oh, okay. Let's see. Controls, controls. Uh, okay, jump, punch. Wow, this... I don't remember the graphics fucking up this hard. C come on now. What is it with video games and just instantly... Do, uh, interrupting everything you do. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Um. I had. I had a minor emergency. It was a minor emergency. I just had to go look at something real quick. Oh, I figured you had to go to the potty or something. <laughs> <laughs> but. It's like. Yeah. It's like play that game. Beat it. I'm already playing it. The graphics are fucked up, and I'm noticing that enemies have a high penchant for interrupting your strikes. Yeah, they do do that. And these designs are friggin' weird. Like, they do belong in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Also, I was right. 1991. It's just too bad our, our Hoagie Quest can't have people calling uh, GameStop about Battletoads. How is GameStop still in business? I don't know. But uh, I do remember that time I went up to a GameStop, one of my favorite GameStops. This was back before I had all the issues with them. But I, I said, hey, do you all have Battletoad? And he just looked at me with this, I'm going to kill you look. Because <laughs> I, I, with, that, with that confirmation, he got, he got calls for about Battletoads. Ah, oh, fuck you. Quit stun-locking me. That was the <laughs> shit that was pissing me off with Xenoverse 2 yesterday. Oh, oops. <laughs> Missed the... What? Oh, the boss. Oh, shit, I remember this. Are you a bad enough dude to beat the boss? Maybe. 
I've only died once, unlike Silver Surfer. But then again, I could take a few hits. Yeah, I was a bad enough dude to beat him. <laughs> oh, but here comes the fun areas. Also, what the hell is with the villain looking like a, a hooker? Or an es escort hooker? Aren't they the same thing? <laughs> oh. You're asking someone who doesn't, who doesn't apply for those services. Ah. What, you're not on your love quest? No. Oh, come on now. You know you want to go, Julie! Julie! <laughs> oh, God, Julie! <laughs> that, stu that stupid thing I like to do, just to make you cringe. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> what? I got knocked off with one hit? Oh, shit. Boom, boom, boom. Doom. <laughs> yeah. A repeat. Hey, at least it ain't. At least you don't die as fast as um, Silver Surfer. You actually have some semblance of a hit point system. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it that. I mean, holy shit, one hit and you're dead. I mean, I love Contra-style games if they're good, like Contra, but... <laughs> the Silver Surfer took that to a fucking extreme. Oh, oh yeah, this frog is named Rash. Well, I, I finally fucking died. And had the game over. Quick, put the Konami code in. Oh yeah, because I want to burn through 30 freaking lives. Well, you need 30 lives to get through the speed tunnel. That's, that was weird. There was, I was so good that game at one, at one point. I could get through the speed tunnel without dying once. Of course, this is like the this is kind of like a thing where like I probably could not even do it now. Yeah. It's like I used to be god tier as a kid, and I, I probably couldn't even get through the first part. Yeah, that's like what happened with me and Mega Man Three. I used to be god tier with it. I used to be able to beat the whole game in like forty minutes tops. Mm. And uh, now I can't even beat Magnet Man of all Robot Masters. And he's like the one you go after first. Uh, okay. Apparently, I just suck at this section. <laughs> God damn. I can't get the hang of the, the swing controls anyway. Ugh. Ah, come on! Fuck it, off. That's the thing. Battletoads got some weird creatures in the game too. Yeah. And even if you do, even if you survive the speeder level, you still got to go through the snake level. Yeah. Fun times ahead. Oh yeah, fun. Yeah, at least it's better than Silver Surfer or Mylon's Secret Castle. I could actually try to get somewhere. Well, you could always play that Transformers game <laughs> on NES. <laughs> yeah, I actually have that ROM. No way. I'm not touching that one. Is that... like, audience? <laughs> nope. Not happening. The mystery it's of like... Optimus Prime is bullshit. It's like, you must vote. I won't do it, no matter what anybody asks. <laughs> I said no, and no is no. <laughs> but you also said no to Mylon's Secret Castle, too, and look what that happened. <laughs> oh, 
okay, you win that one, but still, no. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's what's going to happen. That's all that game is. It's an idiot-designed game. Most Transformers games really suck. Uh, damn it. I mean, the only Except for, I... like, some of the newer ones. Yeah. The, one, the ones by High Moon Studios don't suck. Well, um, War, War for Cybertron isn't as good as I remember it, but its major flaws are all in the, the friggin' ammo. But, like, oh, there was this one Transformers game on the, the PS2, which was just a beat-em-up game. Its plot was dumb, too. You know, all the Autobots from season the movie in Season 3 showed up to try to change the past, and Rodimus is still being a bitch. Yeah, I'm not the leader that you were, Optimus. Well, fucking duff. Quit comparing yourself to Optimus fucking Prime and try to be an actual leader. But no, 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 no. Rodimus has to be a bitch throughout Season 3. He's like, I don't want to be leader. The Matrix shows you. Well, uh, I'm not. Uh, uh, no, I'll give up the Matrix any chance I get. Here's the thing: in Battletoad, one word or two words? I think it's one. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. Damn it. These fucking shock bots, or whatever the hell they are, they're hard to deal with. Especially when I can't get the hang of these fucking controls. <laughs> can't wait for you to get to the speeder level, or you, or you bait, literally crash and burn. Well, I just <laughs> ran out of continues, so that's going to be a while. Ugh. God. Okay, enough with the cutscene. I don't need to see this again. It's like, you know, I never did play the arcade game Battletoad, but I heard it was a lot better. It was more of a platformer. Well, that's the case for a lot of them, really. It was like pure platformer with a lot of... Well, I think the game is almost runs the same, it's just, it's a lot better executed. Hmm. I guess that makes sense, considering the technology at the time. Yeah. Well, our, the arcades were a big thing back in the day. <clears throat> I kind of wonder if anybody ever want to see a East Side quest. To. Well, they're liking you playing Containment Breach. Yeah. I'm a lot more versatile and I have a lot more knowledge of that of that subject, but naturally. Hmm. A side quest, proving grounds of mad overlords like uh uh seven hundred videos later. Look guys, I beat it! East the first episode of East Side Quest is over. It's like now you have to to catch up to Hoagie Quest. Like people, like people bitching about how hard games are these days. Like, pfft, oh man, Dark Souls, it's hard. It's like, ha <laughs> it's it's hard, yes, but it ain't. Yeah. Like back in the day. Dark Souls at least has the thing where you can learn how it, 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 it you know, plays and deal with, <sighs> deal with getting poked and, Stop that! Stop! I Cut hate, it out! I, I hate enemies that fucking stun lock you! Look at that. Well, you can't look. I can't look. I'm not watching it. Look, like, I got... Uh, I got cor cornered and poked to death by one enemy that can't fucking stop the cheap shots. And I don't know how to pick up that one up.
Ah, fuck it. Have to deal with. I still wonder how the hell I beat how I beat that game. I don't know. It's kind of like how I beat Ninja, I beat I beat in like I think I beat all three Ninja Guide. I know I beat the first two. I don't know if I ever did a third one. <laughs> Beating Mike Tyson's punch out. I can only get or I could only get as far as Super Macho Man when it came to to punch out. I don't know what it is about that twist punch it is, but I can't I can't get past it. What? Oh, right. I hit the pause button. I know. On my end, it sounded like it sounded like you was having a rave going on. Ooh. Well, that that. Well, yeah. That's what the music that plays when it pauses. It's. Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's right. It's like. Get out your glow sticks, folks. <laughs> Although they can't hear this because of the way I have to record. <laughs> Uh, uh. I wish, I wish these emulators had like good internet capabilities on her, but it's like that way we could both play. Well, we wouldn't get anywhere with Battletoads playing together. Well, no, it's like you're not supposed to win for that. It's supposed to. It ends with like me killing my friend all the time, like when we used to play Battletoads. Yeah. I wonder how many friendships Battletoads managed to destroy. I don't know. Mario Kart uh, did a good good number on me and my cousin, but we were family, so you can't really lose a friendship of a family. Uh, <laughs> it just ends up with a lot more swearing. Yeah. He's like, goes goddamn lightning bolts. I mean, I know that SNES emulator I got has a uh, net capability but I, I don't it's so old I I don't I don't know if it was the work I remember oh. we, me and him used to play versus all the time you and uh doing super dodgeball God damn it how do I get this thing to fucking swing properly grab a Wiimote yeah, because that'll totally work. I don't know. A, gen a Genesis controller will work on an Atari 2600. That's because back in the day, they didn't have all those copyright shit designs for, for stuff. Co uh, but most of the consoles are basically the damn same on a basic level. Yeah, that's true. And dead again. Ugh. I hate this fucking level. I'm not going to make it to the spear level. <laughs> going to be missing on the best parts. Oh, yeah, you know. God damn it, every five seconds. Nah, you won't get five seconds. Well, you got to take into account the amount of time it takes for the, the game over screen and all that. Hell, I got, I got ROMs. I could probably play play Battletoads if people wanted me to. Dude, I gave you all the entire ROM collection I have for Nintendo. The only one. That oh, yeah, that's be, right. The only one that would be missing would be Battletoads because I had to go and get it. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I still own I still own most of the games you gave me, like real copies. Hmm. That reminds me. I need to go to a movie trading company someday and get my and get one of those um, triple loaders. Those things are those things are cool. It was like it was like sixty sixty seventy bucks. And it's a um, machine that will play Genesis, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo games. Oh yeah. And I even saw. They even had that toaster that toaster NES for sale that that the AVGN uses. I saw one up there, which I find strange considering that's, put, that's a custom-made NES. Hmm. 
Unless it's like a third party company that sells a bunch of them. Why do these shock bots have to take half your fucking health with each hit? Because it's just it's shocking. <laughs> no. Uh, that that pun was so lame. It's like just don't just be sure not to get croaked. <laughs> wah, wah. Wah. It's like I'm sick and I can still pull out the puns. <laughs> Well, I've made it further than I I have to date. Hmm. God damn it, I can't hit shit. Okay, so when did game fucking over. Oh, man. I get to do this shit again? Mm. <sighs> mm. Eh, this ain't gonna happen. And people are gonna go, or start going, oh, he's doing this on purpose. Like, no. <laughs> I'm really not. I, I, I'm gonna have to keep saying that, because I really am not failing on purpose. You know, like in, in my last episode or in that last video of uh, Dragon Ball no the first Z Xenoverse 2 video I did and put up on the channel you know I'm just rusty as shit with that game I haven't played Battletoads in years yeah cause it, mostly all these ho hoagie quest games you have like no prior practice besides yeah. years prior well truth be told I don't do practice anyway Will any of these games? If, if I'm gonna fuck up, I'm gonna fuck up. You know, I'm not gonna be like some people, like I can't find the stairs, Ugh. and 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 they're like right there to the left. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was that was painful. Yeah. Where's the stairs at? I'm like, it's over there. But it's like, open your eyes. It's like it's like I swear to God. It's like oh yeah. Speaking of which, um, I forgot to tell you my uh, I got Overwatch coming in the mail too. No, you told it me shipped about today. That. Oh, no, I mean it shipped today. Oh, well, awesome. I like my box. I like my box copies. And speaking of which, it's like it's like the, it's like the one that one that one tip applies. People do not look up or down. They only see in like, in their their, uh, what's the word for it? Peripheral in their vision. Per peripheral vision, yeah. It's like people do not look up or down. Like you can hide, you can hide up above someone for ages and they'll never see your ass. Or below. It's like I told you what happened with Eichenwald that one game. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so people if they go right you might see me and hoagie play overwatch although through his perspective yeah come on now maybe i will be a god tier junker at me it should it should be up my alley considering that me and explosives well on the bright side you won't have to worry about dropping a grenade at your foot yeah he don't he suffer explosion damage from his yeah. own weapon yeah, he they took that out a long a while ago, and then they recently buffed him so that he he um. I wouldn't say he does more damage, in out outright. It's the fact that he's got two landmines he can use in succession, mm. which effectively you can argue doubles his uh, damage. But you know, you gotta actually hit people with them. Hmm. Nah. It'll try to be some practice, and I'll and I'll get to where I'm being called a hacker again. Speaking of hackers, <laughs> damn it! Ugh. Here we go again. Game fucking over, and I'm being taunted by the hooker again. 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna give this one more go. <sighs> can he make? Can he do? N no, no, he can't. Can he even? Can he? Can he get to the fun level? <laughs> There's fun in this game. Well, if you if you count teeth nationally frustrating gameplay at times. It's not the beat em up stuff that's hard. It's all the other shit. Well, aside from cheap hitting enemies. Mm -hmm. I mean, I fucking hate that stuff. They. I mean, I was doing those AI battles in, in Xenoverse 2 last night. You heard me. I was getting pissed because every attack I made was getting perfectly countered. It's like, yeah, I should seriously have an east side quest, but I don't even know what to do. Well, basically, you just got... I don't know. I mean, people, people seem to, to they, they, they seem to like uh, requesting specific ones. That's true. I mean, Tom requested. Uh, so I gotta have to take it up because I, I played a. Mm -hmm. What? Like I played a lot of tough games, but I don't know where to go. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, I could probably do Battletoad and see just how far I get off a of, off a of blind playthrough. <sighs> well, who knows? Wow, that enemy just went fuck you, buddy. I beat his enemy with, or his, yeah, his enemy, his friend with a with a stick, and. uh... Then knocked him off the cliff, and then he charged in and hit me off the cliff. <laughs> Hoagie fall off cliff. And go boom. Damn it. Okay, now I'm, I'm starting to really suck here. Hoagie tries it, folks. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've beaten that first boss multiple times already, and then I didn't even get hit for most of those. This one, I'm starting to get hit. Ugh. I hate this stage. It's time to get good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm totally going to get good at Battletoads. You, you realize the likelihood of me ever playing this game again after this is like zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I it's been a long time since someone's told me to get good when they're secretly in awe of my awesome powers. Maybe I'll maybe that'll occur in Overwatch. Oh, you gotta be careful with Overwatch. People are toxic as hell in that goddamn game. It's like I play Call of Duty, drop mic. Okay, yeah, but mm. and League of Legends. Well, then you should know exactly what I'm talking about. You get, get the, good, scrub. You get the Generalissimos that are like, No, don't play this character. Play the one I tell you to play. Oh, yeah. I've run into that, too. Idiot's like, oh, he's like, I hey, guys, I'm command. We're in a random team battle, but I'm the leader. Sw you need to switch classes, even though you're good with a sniper. Yeah, it's like, you need to play a character that you don't play. Or, hey, you're set up to, you're always set up to do stealth attacks and everything, but you need to go loud. Because getting behind, getting behind the enemy is not, is not, a, it's not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Oh, that made me quit that one game of TF2, um, Man vs. Machine Nightmare difficulty. I got in the game, I'm, I was going to play Heavy because Heavy is actually really good in that mode when you get some of those power-ups. And Nightmare Mode gives you access to a lot of them right mm. off the bat. 
And this guy's like, go scout. Well, no, I don't play scout. I suck at scout. No, go scout. I ended up telling that guy to fuck off and I left. So yeah, people people try. It's like it's it's not a good idea to try to tell me what class to change to, unless you have a really damn good reason for it. It's yeah. like, hey Steve. So like, hey Steve, was like, we don't have a medic. Could you try doing medic? I'm like, yeah, I can try doing medic. It's all about how you approach me. Oh yeah, without question. I mean, oh, in some of my older Overwatch videos. I was in a game with a bunch of guys, and we were on um, the Temple of Anubis at one point. And the games had been going good up until then, but the enemy was super entrenched. And, you know, we, we couldn't break them. I was playing Reinhardt for the longest time, and my team was essentially leaving me to die. They weren't, they, you know, they weren't following me, giving me any backup whatsoever. So I would charge in, and I would, I would die. I got fed up and decided to change my approach to Widowmaker for a long distance, and they started bitching at me. No, go back to Reinhardt. It's like, well, nobody's supporting me. Well, we'll do that. It's like, you haven't been. It's like, too late now. It's like, you suck. Well, <laughs> you right. suck. If, if that... you want me to switch, you better say, please, fuck you. Or it's like, the common rule is, like, if I'm the heal bitch, is, like, you best be cordial, or oh. you don't get heals. I don't even try playing support hardly anymore. Like, I will only, I will only touch, or play Zenyatta or Lucio, and even then, mostly Zenyatta, because I can keep my fucking distance with Lucio. Ha! 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 You, you're just asking to be solo altered all the damn time it's like it's like that's the thing it's like i used to play mmorpgs all the time I, I used to be a hardcore everquest player and i had a i had a primary healer hmm. and if you say heal me bitch it's like you're not getting healed it's like oh what do i die it's like because because you didn't ask you demanded i heal you instead of ask nicely then they try to report you and then you will know, laugh at their face. Yep. Because if I'm healing, if I'm running support, especially in a game like League of Legends or Heroes of the Storm or something, if I'm your support, I will be I will be trailing behind you and I will be healing you. I will be helping you. If I steal a kill, it's accidental. You know that whole kill stealing stuff in. In games like Overwatch and whatnot, it's just stupid anyway. Oh, shit. This thing again. Ooh. Come on. Why is it double the speed of the others? Ugh. Great. Punch him. Kick him. I can't, you wood ape. They're too fast, and they took it. Take half your fucking health bar with every shot. Who designed that idiot shit? I mean, this thing is already hard enough to, to work with. Ugh. Um, anyway, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah. Justin was telling me yesterday about how some guy was complaining that he stole his kill in Deathmatch on Overwatch. Well, is, are we talking deathmatch as in free for all yes. or team deathmatch? It's it's deathmatch free for all. I don't know why oh. they added it to the game. It seems dumb and pointless, especially because it'll it'll preclude several characters for certain. I mean, uh, never mind the fact that Mercy is now like some kind of DPS healer. It's like you stole my kill. I'd be like, well, tough luck. You you should you should have killed faster then. You stole my kill. It's like um, it's deathmatch. I'll be stealing a lot of your kills. Hmm. Ah, but 
you know, this part wouldn't be so fucking bad if these enemies didn't take half your health bar with every hit they managed to get on you. It's then literally, I'm, then, don't, then don't then get I'm like hit. The guy, then I'm like, well, just don't get hit then. <sighs> oh, I hate those kind of elitists. That get good scrub shit. Ugh. It's like, you don't want me getting good. Because when I do get good, I kick ass. Yeah, that's the thing they tell you to get good, and when you do get good, they start complaining that you're too good. Yeah. Oh, I wish you could have been there for, you know, some of those matches I did with Overwatch where they're, they're like, that goddamn Junkrat, he is so annoyingly good. I wish you could have been there for that Call of Duty game I had where basically I was a sniper and had, had like, I had five 500 points out of a 750-point game. From two guys because they kept running into my traps. And they kept getting shot. Down to a pistol and managed to win the game. Not dying once with a pistol. And pick up their own guns. Dude. So you suck. It's like, how do I suck if I just have to, all I have to do is fire in a straight line. And we wait for you to come. Yeah, really. It's like you're delivering the free kills to me. They get so mad. They get they call you a hacker, which I consider to be a great compliment. Yep. <laughs> I've, although I've never been called a hacker, but you know when they're complaining about how how hard I am to take down and whatnot, and how annoying I am. Hey. <laughs> And I've been called a god tier junk rat before. Wait, doesn't junk rat have an ability where he can launch himself up in the air? Yeah, with his landmine. Oh shit. Oh yeah, now and now he has two landmines, so you could cover a lot of distance. Well, there's I forget which game it, it was. It might have been TF2 or another game. I know I used to do that. I used to be able to do some god tier um air shots with the rocket jumping and TF2. Yeah. I figured I could do something similar with Junkrat. Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you just gotta, you know, manage your aim and shit. Well, with Junkrat, you, you gotta think of the of Junkrat kind of like a mix between the TF2 soldier and um, the demo man. And I say, I say soldier because, um, you know, he, he can get airborne really well. But, I mean, I, I do my best work with him when I'm being sneaky. I'll get behind enemy lines and, you know, I, I'll, I'll start fucking with him, keep him distracted, kill him. And, you know, if I got half the enemy team chasing me or more and have, I keep taking him out, then uh, I'm I'm doing my damn job. <laughs> That's always the, fun. It's like, why aren't you on the cart? Um, I'm keeping half the enemy team away from the cart. <laughs> I am actually very valuable in doing that. Yeah, if they aren't if they aren't doing the objective, they aren't doing their job. Yep. Hell, if I was if you was doing that crap in Overwatch, I'd be I'd be playing a defensive character to to push the cart. Well, Junkrat is a defense character. Well, I meant somebody like Torbjorn or Bastion or something. Oh yeah. Well, Torbjorn in the right hands can be a real annoying thing. It's like I know I know in TF2 it used to be a pretty god tier level engineer. I could go offensive and defensive with him. Well, he was designed for that. So, and Torbjorn's not really that different. He just doesn't have all the gadgets that, that the NG has. And he doesn't have a ranch over Laxo. Well, no, that's not true. He has a, a sit-on-his-ass uh, emote. Can I get past this fucking boss just once? It's like, doom. Then all of a sudden, the spirit of Silver Surfer comes in. It's like, no, you will do. Why'd you have to say Silver <laughs> Surfer? I died, you bastard, and it's game <laughs> over. 
Ugh. Game over. The hooker is is freaking taunting me again. Oh shit! It's like game over. Yeah. Or yeah. game ogre. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, I got shrekt totally. <laughs> you get it back into my swamp and get the ball gag. Ooh. Either that Shrek or... Is life. Say what? Shrek is life. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think I could do any more of this game. It's not a bad game, really. It's just overly hard. I mean, there's shit about it that... If they would, if they had adjusted, it would have, would have been a lot different. I mean, those enemies... Like I said, those shock bots were taking half my fucking health with each hit. And you only get two hits in this case. With from them. And I can't manage the fucking controls, which I don't know why. I mean, there's only two damn buttons. You know, uh, I would do an east side quest where I record both of our conver conversations, but I don't know how to set that shit up. Hmm. Uh, setting up OBS to record this stuff isn't hard. It's just that I I have not been able to find a balance where I can have game sound and voice. Or if I do, one is drowning out the other entirely. Yeah, I don't feel like messing with my settings. I got perfect now for my containment breach videos. I don't want to fuck with it. Yeah. It's like I could... And I could just set it back to record video game sound properly, so I don't know. Mm. I don't know how all I don't know how guys like Gassy and them do with it do it. They manage to get the sound and and their conversations in, and I don't know. There's no guides for this shit from what I can find. Mm. Nobody knows how to make a guide anymore, and and for some reason old stuff disappears. Like, remember what I told you, how I was able to to mod stuff in The Sims 2? I can't yeah. find guides for that anymore. That's weird. I mean, you should probably... They, the old the old uh, Sims sites should probably still be up. Oh, well, yeah. And if they and if they are, they're, they're updated for, like, the new stuff. So it's not, not like they could have went anywhere. Well, Mod The Sims has been around forever, and, I, and they all those old tutorials are gone, it seems. I should re I should remember how to do it. I mean, I. But I just can't. And I can't find guides for this or that. And ugh. Hoagie quest to Sims. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's an East Side quest. I keep I keep my Sims alive. Well, you should probably you should do one with just nothing but Steve clones, and see what kind of shenanigans happen. Just put it on a different lot. No, I'd have to start a whole new neighborhood for that. Because <laughs> I guarantee you that's the neighborhood that's going to explode. I mean, are Boom. You, <laughs> yeah. are, you, are you forgetting that, that the one time I put a representation of... No, not the one time. Each fucking time, something has gone wrong. In Sims 2... I had lightning strike the trees for the first time ever and cause all sorts of fires while Tom Sim was sleeping in a coffin for to get for work later on and my guy was a ghostbuster <laughs> and you're you you just I think your presence was the, the your your Sims presence was the one causing that then let's see um in Sims 3 a, a pregnant sim who was the one sim's boss showed up on his doorstep and went into labor on the spot. <laughs> yeah, it took me by fucking surprise. I'm like, I'm looking at, I see this. I'm like, what are you here for? And then all of a sudden, it's like, the sim's in labor. What? <sighs> this doesn't happen when I have just my sims. It always has you. It's always when your Sims are in in my damn game. See, that make a perfect recording. That way, we, that way we can have people study it and see why Steve clones cause so so much 
disastrous creations to happen. Huh. I should probably do that for Sims 4 then. <laughs> yeah, you should. I would like to see what kind of shenanigans a Steve clone can get into. And considering I just downloaded that new uh, immortal trait, I could put my personal sim in there and not have him die. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, your sims are basically clone fodder. Well, yeah, it's like it makes the game more fun. It's not, it's not boring Dude. due to their high rate, high rate of high chance of death. Yeah. Ugh, I want, but I can't even do the Sims 3 stuff anyway. Last time I tried to install that shit on my awesome computer, it ran like pure unfiltered ass because EA are they're morons when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> I guarantee you, if they had made Sims 3 open source, modders could have fixed everything wrong with Sims 3. Oh, and, and this is a quick personal review, people. If you get the chance, skip Sims 3 altogether. There's only a couple things in it that are worth that would even be worth looking at, like the Ghostbuster career from Ambitions. But otherwise, you're not missing anything. Just go straight from two to four, or just stay with two. Yeah, two is still the superior version, yep. even after all this time. Yeah, and it's it's. If they would just put the rest of the stuff in from 2 into 4, 4 would su su surpass it. I mean, 4 is good. Don't get me wrong. It has its problems, but it's actually pretty good. It's just they, they have that stupidity in it. I mean, aside from the weekly shut your mods off for an update thing, you know, it's lack of control that becomes the problem. I hate how... Sin Sims will take 50 years to respond to a command and they decide well I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down on a chair and have a conversation even though the, the living room is on fire and you're telling me this to is, put it out <laughs> so he sent his copy this is good yeah yes this is fine but ugh, I don't know maybe maybe I'd do that I mean it's not like any not like most of my mods are weird for that game anyway. But. I don't know. I don't know what I'd do with it. Anyway. So this has been Battletoads and a lot of discussion. In a lot of talking about not Battletoads. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> this is just one of those things. Um. If. You guys watching have suggestions. Feel free to tell us. Transformers. Um, no. <laughs> I will not do that one. I hate that fucking game. It's terrible. You die in one hit. The enemies die in multiple hits. Their projectiles are practically invincible. All you're going to be hearing is... And God damn it! It's gonna be God damn it! it. Like, Remix. Ugh. It's like that game might actually give me a fucking stroke because you know you get you get games like Contra and they're hard, but you can manage. It's mostly how much you fuck up. That is the problem, because the enemy, all the enemies except for bosses and mid bosses, die in one hit. <sighs> but not that one. It's like one little invisible shit pebble of a blast just travels through a white background. You can't fucking see it because it's the same color. And boom! Ultra Magnus is deader than he was in the 1986 movie. And there's no junkions to put him back together. Do 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 do. It almost makes you go, what the fuck did they make you out of? Tin foil? A, like aluminum and tin foil? Yeah. It's like you're not you're not Ultra Magnus. You 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 <laughs> You're some Co Chinese or Korean knockoff that you, you He's he's secretly a GoBot. Yes. GoBot. The 
the for those of us who are too young to remember what GoBots were in the 80s, they were the poor kids Transformers, cheaply made and, and equally cheaply looking. Yeah, it's like the kid goes, "Hey, look, I got Ultra Magnus. I got a Rock Lord." <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, I remember Rock Lords. I had several of them. <laughs> but those it's commercials like... were fucking awesome. They don't do that stuff anymore. They don't make good commercials for toys. That make Maybe we should save that, that for another episode. What? I believe the, the Hoagie Quest has been going on for too long. Oh. Oh, shit, you're right. People are probably going to get bored. Uh, all right, I guess. Usual thing. If you got an idea, make a suggestion. Um, just remember, if it has to either be PC or emulated. Another thing, too. We could probably do videos where we just talk about a certain subject, too. Instead of being entirely a hoagie quest. Yeah, you're right. We could. All right, I guess uh, we'll call it here. <sighs> so... Goodbye. Yep, goodbye, Hoagie Quest. Bleh. <laughs>